Please be seated. Good morning and happy Easter po, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. We are filled with so much joy. Let us rejoice and be happy for indeed our Lord is alive. Easter is a celebration that we have is forever a good news. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, the Easter that we have right now is forever a good news. Ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay tunay na mabuting balita at magandang balita para sa lahat. And we are all grateful today because the Easter of the Lord's Resurrection, we will celebrate with so much joy for the whole week. We call this as octave of Easter, eight days up to the next Sunday. And we are now enjoying the Easter season as Jesus risen from the dead. He is now appeared and proclaimed that He is truly alive. Masaya at punong ng galak dahil si Jesus ay totoong nabuhay, hindi patay. Buhay ang Diyos sa atin. Buhay na nakikilakbay ang Diyos sa buhay natin araw-araw. Mother, brothers and sisters, our gospel today from the account of Matthew, the women, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, went away quickly from the tomb, fearful and yet overjoyed, ran to announce the news. These women are primary witnesses of the resurrection of our Lord. Also the first proclaimed the good news that Jesus is risen and that he will meet his disciples in Galilee. As we go over the gospel of today, there was a contrast of these women who were overjoyed to announce that Jesus is alive. Antagonists were also present. The chief priests and the elders of the people put out the story that the disciples of Jesus came and stole his body during the night. The action of paying off the soldiers who guarded the tomb in order to them to propagate the lie. My dear brothers and sisters, ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay hindi mababayaran at hindi mapipigilan at hindi ito mahadlangan ng kasinungalingan. And now, we are all rejoicing because the good news with, uh, is with us. Let us proclaim the truth like the women, not a lie. Ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all invited to proclaim the truth, not a lie. Hindi po tayo ginawa ng Diyos para magsinungaling at maging sinungaling. Ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay dapat nating ipahayag ng isang katotohanan na tayo ay kanyang binigyan ng kaligtasan at buhay para magpatuloy sa binigay niyang buhay pang araw-araw. Mother, brothers and sisters, we come together to be the witnesses of Jesus. This is very essential in our faith as one church united in the truth the resurrection of Jesus is truly the statement of truth as we experience the gift of the season let us now draw from his reason strength and full of hopes at the very step of our life's journey and when that journey comes to the end he assures us that he will come to share even more fully in his recent life. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, 
ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, siya buhay natin at tiyak ang lakas at pag-asa sa buhay paglalakbay patungos sa Kanya. The proclamation of the resurrection of Christ is a, pro- a proclamation of truth. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, we experience, we are celebrating the Easter with overjoy because we, we proclaim and we witness the truth of Christ. Ang pagkabuhay muli ni Jesus, siya nawa, mga kapatid, ang ating buhay din. Maging totoo tayo sa ating paglalakbay dito sa mundong ibabaw na ito. Ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, nagbibigay sa atin ng tunay na landas, na tunay na direksyon upang tayo'y mapasakan niya. Ang katotohanan ng muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, na wa may sa buhay din natin ito sa ating buhay pang araw-araw. The resurrection of, the, of Christ is a proclamation of truth that we should speak out every day in our life and we embrace every day in our lives. And we must allow this truth because the resurrection of Christ is a, mes- is a message of full truth of our salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, in this octave of Easter, today is Monday. Let us spread out to the whole world. Tell the truth now. Tell the truth now. He is risen. He is real. Me is the resurrection of Christ always in our actions, bringing the truth. As we continue to live our lives for being Easter people, mother, brothers, and sisters, let us all therefore uphold and be committed of Christ's truth in His resurrection. Amen. <laughs>